Hi everyone. So just wanted to go over a few things here. Remember that at the jury system you need to create your user ID or you need to log in again and then make sure that you fill out all of your basic information here. So just to show you uh, this is the home page and if I'm logged in but if I log out um, I can show you what this looks like. If you get locked out for whatever reason you can email the administrator and get back in. I'm going to go over here to rep records make sure that you select brass juries and you'll have to start a new rep record for this semester and in there you'll need to put in all the information that we need your curriculum with your performance music education whatever uh, you need to put in who your teacher is that would either be me or professor carpenter and your instrument and we also need to know your level so make sure that you know what your level is if you have questions about that please ask professor carpenter or i you need to put in all the scales that you've been working on we want to know if it's major minor whatever that may have been uh, we also want to know what your exercises are what your etudes are i've got some little examples here but um, we want to know as much information as possible and i've got examples online for all of you so Please take a look at those examples. We're looking for very specific information. We'd like to know the exercise and etudes, the solo or the concerto. We want to know the composer with the composer dates, the book or the work title, and include the edition if you can. And then we also want to know the etude title or number, the page number, and any other identification information. In ensemble participation, please let us know what ensembles you were in. This includes things that are out of school as well. We like to know all of that stuff. It helps us know if you've been busy or not. And then solo performances. This would just be if you gave a recital this semester, uh, performed a solo at a church, or anything else like that. So make sure that you always hit save or save and close. You can always go back in and edit this, but we do want to know, uh, we, we want you to be sure that you're saving this stuff. Now a few little more details here. So under exercises, I want to know, like I said, all these details, specifically the composer, the book that you're playing out of, the A2 title or number, and the page number, as much as that of that as possible. And you want to list it out because you want this to look like you did a lot. If you only list one or two things under each section, it doesn't look like you did very much. And when we're listening to your jury, we won't think you did much, <laughs> which is not a good thing. This actually helps your grade. Just trying to show some examples of how I might fill this out a little bit more in detail. You should plan on this taking about an hour. Um, and you should have all this information yourselves from your lessons. But, you know, if you think you maybe forgot something, come talk to Professor Carpenter and I, and we can walk you through everything that we've got in our notes as well. And finally, don't forget to save when you're done with all of this. Now I'd like to talk just a little bit about uh, where we want you to put your musics uh, for the jury. So I've got this jury music file and then everybody should be in there. If you're not, just create a new file. But what we want you to do is upload a PDF of your music so that we can all see it. And um, please label that in a, uh, a folder that says jury spring SP 2020 so that we can see all of that stuff. It's really important that we have that information for your jury. So now I want to walk through the booking process. Be sure that you book your jury time. Remember if you've got a double jury for a barrier, you're doing two levels, you need to book two jury slots for that. Um, they will be filled out better than this, but you'll have to check two boxes for doubles or one box for a single and then hit submit request.
for that to go through. You should get a confirmation email and you'll be able to see it through clicking my booking. It'll list out what date and time you've chosen. Um, if for some reason you've chosen the wrong thing, there are ways of backing out of that. Hi everyone. So I just wanted to walk through just a couple more things and just a couple more reminders. Remember to select the right level that you're in. Uh, grad students, you're in level 10. Um, that's just kind of everything beyond. And uh, grad students, I'd also like to remind you to select two jury slots for your jury um, because we'll have double the amount of stuff as the undergrads to get through. Um, so make sure that you've got access to louisiana.jury-system.com, and that's on my sheet as well. I'll also be sure that you've got access to the Google Drive. Um, I've emailed that out, and I put it on Zoom, and I've also got it in my document here. Um, so just a couple of notes. Uh, make sure that you prepare your space and background for the jury. For the jury, we want to see as much of you and your instrument as possible. Of course, dress up. Make sure that you are really dressed appropriately for the jury. I would say shirt and tie. I would say maybe even a full suit this time. When you're getting ready for your jury, be ready 15 minutes in advance. Um, you want to have your instrument, your water, your music, everything ready to go. And you'll be in a waiting room and we'll let you in when it's your turn. So don't, don't bother us until then. We know you're there. We may have to discuss someone um, or, or whoever went before you or we may need to take a quick break. Um, so we'll let you in when we're ready. Uh, for Zoom, make sure that you understand the platform of Zoom. Um, I've uh, uploaded some instructions on how to turn down the microphone volume, uh, how to update some of the settings for the, the video. So, um, you know, make sure that you check all that stuff and have, make sure you have the, the level set correctly for your jury. Um, some things that may help, I'm not requiring them, but they may help is a good set of headphones. That'll help a lot. Also, just a middle of the line, ten or fifteen dollar USB microphone for your laptop may work. Um, I highly recommend trying to do the Zoom jury on a laptop and not on a tablet or phone. They just seem to work better with the with the software. Um, just a quick reminder: the last week of classes, we'll be doing a mock video jury, and I'll be going through all of this with you again. So. Um, you're in control of all this stuff for your jury, so I recommend that you really take that to heart and use that as much as possible to you uh, doing well in the jury. Um, I've got a lot of this stuff all listed out here for you, but I wanted to just go back to one other file that I created that's called Jury Specifics Spring 2020. And this is specifically because we're doing things on Zoom. So, um, Make sure, that, again, that you check out all of the documents that I've provided to you. Make sure that you're wearing the appropriate clothes. Make sure that we don't see anything that we don't need to see in the background as much as possible. You'll also want to be talking to the people that you are dwelling with at this point. Let them know that this is a, a video final for your course, and so we don't want to necessarily see people stomping through the, the video screen um, or hear them talking to each other. Now, that's not, again, 100% possible always, but that's our goal. Um, and if we can at least have that as our goal, then we'll probably be doing pretty well. Again, lower your like, mic levels. Make sure that you've got your sound on and ready to go when you're in the waiting room. Have your camera on so that we are ready to go. Your performance order will have you come into the, the, the Zoom meeting room. Please introduce yourself. Um, some of our teachers don't necessarily know you, and especially this semester where they haven't seen you, it's a good idea to introduce yourself. So if it were me, I'd say, hello, my name is Benjamin Yates, and I'm a first year student on the euphonium, and uh, I'm in level one. And make sure, you might wanna even just check with the committee, did you get my music, my PDF music in the file? And we'll say, yep, we've got it, thanks. Um, and then you go ahead and get ready for your prepared piece. Now. We may, as a committee, have some questions for you. How's your semester going? Um, I don't see any information on your uh, you know, repertoire sheet. What happened? That sort of thing. If that happens, go ahead and answer us as quick and as possible. And then we'll jump off to your prepared piece. And then we'll do your scales and your technical stuff. And then I'll say something like, thank you very much. And that's your cue to leave the room. So it's time for you to leave. Um, it may seem a little abrupt, but that's the way it is. And then we'll go ahead and get on Zoom later and talk through it all. But we're not going to say, hey, good job, see you later, have a good summer, any of that stuff. We're just going to keep it as quick as we can because we're getting through a lot of Zoom juries in one day. We'll be tired, you'll be tired, so we'll catch up on other time. Um, 
Uh, just a quick note about emptying water out of instruments. Um, <clears throat> Zoom is really good at picking up the sound of us blowing through our instrument. This stuff. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're eliminating that as much as possible when you're in your jury. So my recommendation is just to let the water out and you may have to do it more often, but blowing it out is not always the most efficient way of doing that. And again, we're all brass players. We know what you're doing. It's just one of those things that kind of messes with the mic levels and it's going to be kind of hard if we've got headphones on. So I hope this video helps out a little bit. Yeah, I know it ended up being a little bit long, but um, please take a look at all this stuff and make sure that you understand it all. And if you don't, please get help. And I'm the person that can help you. So drop me an email, drop me a Zoom message, drop me a text message, and let's make sure that we get this taken care of in the next couple weeks and not a couple days before the jury.